Okay, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, good day. So, today we will be discussing about the order of operations. Now, order of operations, a lot of you might say this is a little bit easy. This is just Gemdas or as, as some of you may recall, it's just Mdas and things like that. But it's actually not. It's actually quite complicated when the given um, becomes, uh, uh, contains a lot of operations, okay? So, this is where um, Jamdas, the groupings and exponents will come in handy. And, okay, a lot, uh, most of the students and even teachers does not even know the rule of the left associativity, Okay? T associativity. So it's not actually just gemdas, but it's actually gemdas and left associativity. Okay, we follow this left associativity rule just for the uh, sake of it, but it's actually uh, and, um, important. Okay, and I actually learned this one from my uh, classmate that is having his mass uh, doctorate, I guess so, degree. So I do believe in him. So, anyways. So let's start. So let's discuss first what do we mean by gemdas. Gemdas is just simply groupings. First, the letter G. Okay. Groupings muna. So let's discuss groupings. Groupings are actually separated in a hierarchy. Meaning you operate first on the parentheses. Next, we have the brackets. And then we have the braces. So the very first thing that we... Um, operate in is the parenthesis next the bracks and braces so let's give an example of that firstly say we have 2 plus 2 minus 3 times 6 then salabas and we have plus 4 so before we subtract 3 Okay, we operate first on the parentheses. So, you take a look at the given and then you ask yourself, is there any operation within that? Is there any operation within that? So, 2 plus 2 is of course 4. So, let's go to the next line of operation. So, we have 6, 4 minus 3 because there's no more parentheses and then we have 4. Then you ask yourself, since the parentheses are gone, you ask yourself for the brackets. Okay, is there any operation within that? If there is, operate. 4 minus 3 is 1. Okay. Next, you ask yourself, is there any operation within this? The brackets. If there are none, then you proceed to the braces. So, everything within the braces it's uh, must be operated. 6 and pa parentheses or bracket 1. It's just simply multiplication. Okay, so this is 6 times 1, the answer is 6. And then we have plus 4. Then you ask yourself finally, is there any operation within the braces? If there is none, then you proceed to the operation outside. So that is 6 plus 4, the answer is 10. And that is for groupings. Next, we have the exponents. Let me align that a little bit. Exponents. Okay. Okay. Exponents are just simply repetitive multiplication, okay, if you're not aware yet. Let's say we have, let's use numbers. Say we have 6 cubed. Oh, no, no. 6 squared, yeah. 6 squared is just simply 6 times 6. A lot of you have this common misconception. If you have 6 squared, that is 6 times 2. Very wrong. It's just 6 times 6. You multiply it twice to itself based on the exponent above. So, this would be 36. If I have 6 cubed, the answer is 6 times 6 times 6. And I do not know my mathematics. So, let me get my calculator. The answer is just simply 216. Okay? So, that is exponent. So, that is the next thing that you need to perform. Okay? So, if by any chance, you will um, you will encounter these kinds of given. And for example, we have 2 plus 3 squared. So you ask yourself, which one will you do first? Will I do the exponent or the parentheses? Of course, do the parentheses first because that is the very first one within the 
order of operation. So you have 2 plus 3, the answer is 5. Then you are given squared and 5 squared is 25. Okay? Order of operation. Next one, we have the M dash. Okay? And this is a common multi uh, misconception again for the M dash part. It's actually not multiplication and division. It's actually multiplication or division. Whichever comes first. Kung sino man yung mauna. Why do I say that? Kasi some students are saying that if I have um, 2 divided by 1 times 3, they they will say, Sir, you unahin natin. Let's uh, evaluate first 1 times 3 because it's multiplication and division. Not. Okay? It's not the case. You divide first before you multiply. Kasi, the ruling about this one is its or. And remember that thing we call left associativity? Okay? Activity. It means that you go from left to right. Okay? So, this would be 2 divided by 1. The answer is 2. And 2 times 3. The answer is 6. But if we try to do what? your way na you're going to say, sir, we multiply first, blah, 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 and so on and so forth. So, this would be 3. And 2 divided by 3, the answer is 2 thirds. And that is actually incorrect. Okay? If you will be taking your calculators and you will input this 2 divided by 1 times 3, the answer would be 6. And I would bet my life on that. Okay, that again, we apply the left associativity. Kasi it's M or D. Okay, but the left associativity will only work if and only if the operation is purely multiplication or division or our next operation which is addition or subtraction. Okay, still under left associativity. Okay, I'm writing that wrong, but anyways, we are discussing the order of operation. So, say we have 6 plus 2 minus 3 plus 4. So, you're going to tell me, sir, unahin natin yung plus. And then, uh, let's do the subtraction. Okay, no, we perform from left to right. So, 6 plus 2, the answer is 8. 8 minus 3, the answer is 5. And 5 plus 4, the answer would be simply equals to 9. Okay? So, again, baka sabihin nyo, eh, you might say, na, Sir, it's addition and subtraction. Come on. Hindi mo ba alam yun, sir? The, you will be wrong. 6 plus 2 is 8. And 3 plus 4 is 7. And 8 minus 7, the answer is 1. That is so different from the 9. And if you will try to use your calculator, okay, to try to prove me wrong, you will be wrong. Okay, not me. Because the answer in calculator is still 9. Because in the calculator, it practices that left associativity. So I hope that I have proven to you that left associativity is actually a thing. Okay? And please remember this left associativity because even teachers do not know this rule. Okay? This so happens that I actually learned this one from a friend of mine a long, long time ago. Okay? So anyways, uh, let's have examples of the order of operation. So say we have number 1. We have 3, parenthesis 2, plus 8. Now again, the order of operation state, state, states that we must follow the gem dash. So you ask yourself, is there any groupings here? We have the parentheses. We have any exponent? None. So let's take a look at the parentheses, this one. Is there any operation within the parentheses? Definitely none. Therefore, we proceed to multiplication or division. So we multiply this one. This becomes 6 and we have plus 8. And 6 plus 8, the answer is, wait, I'm thinking it's 14, okay? So, therefore, we got 14. That's good. Let's proceed to the next one. Um, let's have, let's have, let's have 12 plus 5 
times 3 divided by 9. Now, on this one, okay, you will notice that this one would be a fraction. But remember, fractions are just simply divisions. Okay, so meaning I will I would want to divide this entire thing, the numerator, by 9. So therefore, this is actually expressed in the form of a bracket because I want to divide this everything by 9. Okay? So having that uh, perception, if you will have a fraction with operations on the numerator or denominator, evaluate them first. Ito muna, before you divide by 9. Okay? So given that con um, concept, so let's, let's evaluate first the numbers above. Okay? What is 5 times 3? The answer is 15. And 15 plus 12, the answer is simply 27. So knowing that this entire thing is 27, then we can have 27 over 9. And what is 27 divided by 9? The answer is just simply 3. The answer is 3. Okay? So that is again order of operations. Let's have uh, something more complicated. I'm, I'm going to look on a book. Okay, let's have this one. Oh, scary. 12 times negative 3 times 12 minus 9. Um, I think we have a bracket. Plus 9 bracket. 9 times 12. Sorry, let me just write that properly. 12 plus 4 and close parenthesis, close bracket. Okay. Seems scary. Let me write this down properly here on the baba. Okay. Because my trackpad is not working that well. Okay. Now, in this case, um, what I actually, uh, how I actually evaluate is by using cancellations. Okay, so I'm going to show you my technique. So the first one, we cancel the first, uh, the ones that is within the parentheses because that is the rule gem. Does nga. Okay, so 12 minus 9, the answer here would be 9, 10. So 3. Then this one is 12 plus 4, the answer is 16. Yeah. Then I apply, uh, then I look at the given and uh, I would see that this one is under the groupings again, groupings again. Then I will evaluate that next. And that is negative 3 times 3. The answer there is, of course, cancel, cancel. The answer there is 9. And we have 9 times 16 on this side. Cancel, cancel. The answer there is 144. Next one, there's no more groupings, right? Because all the operations within the brackets and then the parentheses is done. Then we have this one, 12 times 9. We cannot add yet because it's, of course, multiplication first. 12 times 9, the answer there is 108 plus 144 times 9. I'm using my calculator, sorry. 1296. And 108 plus 1296 is just simply... 1, 0, oh, sorry, it's not 1, 0. It's 1, 4, 0, 4. And this would be your final answer. Order of operation, okay? Um, this would become complicated, of course, if you get if you get fractions and um, a weird mix of operations. But then again, yun, yeah, if you are following the rule of the MDAS, okay, and you know the operations... The symbols for operations, kasi, yan, for example, this one, fraction is also division. You will have no problem if you know those things, okay? Again, we call it as the order of operation. The ruling would be, just go back, it's gemdas and the left associativity. Okay, so I hope that you have picked up something today. Again, practice makes perfect. We have an activity in our course. Um, just simply uh, perform those things. If you have any other questions, you can 
go back to our video or you can ask me in our class. Thank you for listening everyone and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.